Rio is rising up, so be it. So Sarah and Rio are going to be developed relatively soon. Where are we going to go after this? Oh, this is what I was looking at before. So this is in the Rio de La Plata trade node, but in the Brazilian colonial area. Okay. So are there any other trade places here? No, we've grabbed them all. If we wanted to control more of the Rio trade, then we should get Rio de La Plata. However, that is in a different trade area. Lost in mind and space, we should have realised that our conquistador had no sense of orientation at all the first two times he got lost. The first time, he went to retrieve two of our pack horses and got lost for 16 days. Um, send out the hunter again. Uh, we could continue building up the Caribbean, which is probably a good idea. I feel like Portugal is developing still. They are! You cheeky sods! Hello, Treaty of Tortillas? You can tell because you can see the guy with the, uh, the... The axe. Oh, that might be Carabas doing it. It is. Okay, it's the colony, in which case I think they're allowed because they're colonial region. Uh, one of the reasons that I'm pouring money into Hispaniola. I think I need to try and get more of Cuba. Like, obviously there's going to be a conflict here. But if I can grab Cuba, then that's just going to be a very consolidated area to be very wealthy. So I think I need to work on the Caribbean more. Beginning in 1521, Chicameca faced almost a decade of utter chaos, slowly consuming the country from within and bringing it to the very verge of collapse. Bremen, the Reformation branches out. Reformed has arrived. The Protestant Reformation is spreading like wildfire across Europe. Several different movements have already started proposing alternative ways of reforming the Christian faith. A devout preacher in Bremen has become the principal figure of the so-called Reformed School of Thought, stressing the complete ruin of humanity's ethical nature. Only with the diver Excuse me. Only with the divine intervention of God can humanity find salvation, turning from rebellion to willing obedience. This is such a rubbish reformation. This is poor. Protestants have got a grand total of one, two, three, four, five provinces that are actually, like, stated. And reformed has already arrived. Usually... Reformed, I feel, arrives later. Uh, sales claiming our territory. That's not good. Bleeding, bleeding gums and falling teeth. With a diet consisting mostly of cured and salted meat and dried grains, the malaise and lethargy, which should have been the first symptoms recognised as scurvy, but it was not until the gums started bleeding and the teeth forcing and falling out that we realised we had to do something to save the expedition members. As they are exploring provinces, they have unknown flora and fauna to us. It would be unwise to eat anything as it could be poisonous. So we can trade, or we could say, eat other food. I'm going to say, eat other food. I can't afford the money right now. The Great Peasants' War. The peasantry is rising up in revolt against their lawful masters, demanding an end to serfdom, the form of protections for their rights. This is no localised rebellion. The seeds of dissent are spread across the empire and often planted by dangerous heretics. All of the princes of Germany must look to their defences and prepare for war against the very people they once ruled. Successful peasant rebellions may be emboldened to overthrow the aristocracy and impose a radically different system of government. Peasants are more likely to rebel. So the empire is going to be getting an incident soon. The Amazons. In Pame, there are two small tribes of very special arrangement. The women live by themselves, far from the men. Bad idea, or they like us more. I'm going to say this sounds like a bad idea, just so I can get the admin. Check your missions. You can get claims in the whole of Mexico. Ah, yeah. 
the Spanish main. So yeah, we need to get Colonial Columbia. Okay. That is probably what we'll do next then. Natives in Rio de Janeiro adopt the Castellan culture. To our surprise, many members of the Tupi have decided to embrace our language. Awesome. Mutiny. Flog them. We're still 10 years ahead of time. We can actually get a quality idea. And I would say let's go ahead. Oh, we actually gain innovativeness for this? Okay. Really? Nobody else has taken quality? That seems unlikely. Every private has a marshal's baton in his back. Well, perhaps not exactly, but for those who distinguish themselves in battle, promotion and rewards will follow. The troops know this and are inspired by it. The extra production efficiency will help, although production is definitely a small portion of our income. Where are our merchants currently? Can we reach Alexandria yet? No. Or we are already doing Caribbean. Uh, could be moving money from the Ivory Coast instead of Safi. Wait, no, we're already doing Caribbean and Tunis. Yeah, that does make the most sense. I do want to get a presence down here, especially as England has already arrived. The Bible translated. A priest in Lugo has translated the Bible into our language and has started to distribute copies of it to nearby villages throughout Lugo. Heresy. Lose reform desire. All of the Catholics like us more. Oh, great news, everyone. They become Protestant. No, burn the books. Latin is the only language that this should be in. There should be a complete monopoly on religion. Oh, is this somewhere else then? That's the Yucatan area. Oh, see, that is actually Colombia. So that gives us a claim on everything else in Colombia. Whereas this side requires us to have gotten Cuba. Mexico area. It's this one. And we get Hernando Cortez, a 556 conquistador. I don't think we have Barney. I don't think we can do that. No. Portugal got Barney instead of us. Oh well. Right, speed this up a bit. Time to make some money. Diddy Radar and Bust Vera, thank you very much for the follows. And Cogito Ergo Ludo, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Uh, natives adopt Andalusian culture. Rio Grande. Uh-oh. 
You did not completely die. Good. That's fine then. Something is stirring. The Mamluks are considering attacking the Ottomans. Of course they're considering that now. There's actually a very weak Ottomans, especially as Venice has actually taken a big chunk of uh, Greece. Dramatic currency revaluation. Concerned about spiraling inflation, your government strongly advises you to abandon the old coinage and start using a new, more stable currency. While beneficial in the long run, this would immediately cause severe unrest in the country, along with a loss of prestige. So, who cares about the economy? We gain a bunch of inflation and we lose stability. Um, I think I am going to pay down inflation a little bit more. And then I'm going to say, heed this advice. Painful, though. Cogito Edo Ludo. I think, therefore, I play games is the best name I've seen in all of Twitch. I was wondering what that meant. Because I know Cogito Ergo Sum. I think, therefore, I am. Cogito Ergo Ludo. That is a very good name. Great economic policy. With the great administration leadership of Muljin the first, we've been able to reduce the accumulated inflation of our country quite dramatically this last year. Lose another inflation. I don't think it's five. I think it's actually ten. If not fifteen. The <laughs> funny thing is I've heard you get the uh, inflation events anything from five to ten to fifteen. Like, everyone says it's a different number. I don't think anyone knows what the actual number is. End of the Peasants' War for Brandenburg. Wolgast still looking good. In fact, Germany hasn't changed a huge amount. Bavaria is formed. Holland is grabbing more and more of the Netherlands. Italy has changed a fair amount, with Florence having completely moved from their starting position and having taken Genoa instead, which is probably actually better for them. Except for the fact that Florence is now cut off. But if they manage to take out Mantua, that's going to be a very strong Florence right there. Venice is having an amazing game. Naples is doing quite well. Aragon's still alive and not in a PU. Triangle trade. When the European nations started to colonize North and South America, they created large plantations for the production of cotton, tobacco, and sugar. First, they tried to use the local population as slaves, but they quickly died out when this was tried. Slaves were then imported from Africa, which created a triangular trade system. Europe sold textiles, rum, and manufactured goods to Africa. Africa sold the slaves to America, and America sold the cotton, sugar, and tobacco to Europe. This will increase the demand of slavery. Uh, that does, however, let us pay off a loan. Who are rivals? Morocco, Mamelukes, Aragon? I'm actually sure about the third one. What am I doing? Rivals. Yeah, Aragon. Okay, so Rio de Janeiro has finished. So, we now need to put you back on a ship and then send you over here. And we're just going to take over Cuba. Well, actually, now that we know that we... No, I want Cuba just for the sake of controlling this whole area. So, do any of these have more development? Just start here because it's easier. Renewing loans. However, we are now making 12 ducats. So that's because we've just saved four from not having that third colony. I still want to keep the, uh, the, the three colonies going though. End of the Peasants War for Austria. Lucky you. <coughs> Now 
And then once Sarah's finished, we'll need to go and pick up those colonists, or those um, soldiers, and we'll spread over Havana, spread over Cuba. Mitchell Jam, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Back down to eight. That's okay. I mean, the more loans we pay off, the less interest we're paying, the more money we make. Successful company. Our decision to grant concessions to merchant company has proven to be wise. Our earnings have been greatly enhanced, and this money can be beneficial for other things. Also, we still have this in play, but how long for? I'm wondering if I want to save my points until that runs out, or if we can go ahead and get another one. So this is forgiven for two more years. And we are generating five a year. So yes, we should save it. Because we'll then be on like 17. We need 52. Okay. When exactly does it end? 24th of August, 26. Declining power of the nobility. As both influential landowners and the traditional warrior class of the state, the nobility have not fared well lately. Through a combination of excessive infighting and poorly coordinated power plays, the nobility have lost influence in Toledo. And Sierra's done. Excellent. So let's get you guys on board and send you over here. And then we're just going to start colonizing... Wait, that did abandon. Ah, oh, sod. I know why. I was reading that thinking, this can't be right. But yeah, it was. Damn, I have to go back for six months. Expel minorities. Why is that so different? Really don't like that mechanic. It's not very good. Yeah, I forgot. I... No, we're not doing that. Not until we're closer to full manpower. So Sarah has not yet finished the will, like, tomorrow. There it is. So I'll put you on the ships. We'll send you over here to Guana. No, oh, to, uh, Kanama. Huzzah! So what we're going to have to do is recall this settler, now that he's arrived, and put him in Kanama instead. One thing I still don't understand is how nutrition on ships work. Can't tell if you're being facetious with that, or if you mean attrition. Trade protection CB against Slemson. Hunt down the privateers that harm the trade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not happening. I don't want to maintain those ships. Coast has been raided. I do indeed have a lot more sailors. That's because I'm not doing missions right now. And I'm not blockading anyone. Uh, Rio Grande is finished. There we go. Minority expelled. Developed by 1111. And we have finished Colonial Brazil. So what shall we call Brazil? When you have a colony, how do you tell them to expand on their own? You can't. Um, the Whether colonies will expand on their own is kind of up to them. First of all, 
you need to make sure that they have the right ideas to even do that. So the way you would check that is to see what ideas they have. If they have expansion or exploration, as thankfully Hispaniola does, then they can do that. And they also need to have surplus money. So one of the reasons I'm feeding a subsidy to Hispaniola right now is that they have the money to actually colonize. And you'll notice that this guy here is Hispaniola doing that themselves. Brasilia. I think that's the Portuguese name. Okay, it did mean attrition. Cool. Um, so naval attrition depends on kind of two factors. The most important one is supply. So if we're hovering just over a sea zone, doesn't matter if you have ships selected or not, it's always going to show up. You can see supply ships reach 54 out of 150. That means that you have a core nearby. So as long as you're in supply and it's a coastal province, you will not take attrition. With one exception, which we'll talk about in a minute. So as long as they're in that area, you're fine. If they're in a ocean zone, so an area which is not connected to land in any way, so actually these two are a bad example, and it says open sea, they'll take attrition. The longer that a ship is in the open sea, the more attrition they will take. In fact, the more that they are out of supply, the more attrition they will take. So it's cumulative, I believe, not cumulative, it's um, exponential. So the first month that they're out in the open seas, they may take like three attrition. Then it'll be like six, then it'll be 12, then it'll be 18. And every time they take attrition, the ship takes damage. And then once the ships reach zero strength, the ships sink. So if you're out in the open seas for an extended period of time, um, your ships will probably sink. Um, which is why it can be dangerous going across the North Atlantic when you're still exploring because exploring increases the amount of time you are at at sea um the other exception for the attrition is you might well be in supply but you're blockading in which case your ships will take attrition over time just from the blockades but that's more of a, a sailor issue and then once you run out of sailors then your ships will start to take damage and eventually sink but the main thing is just how long you're at sea. So one way to get around that is just parking your ships up. So when I'm doing my long journeys, I will always try to end in the port. Because if they're in the port, they don't take attrition. And then also if you have cores nearby, um, then they'll also be considered in supply. You don't take attrition. You can tell them not to expand on their own now. It's a new subject interaction. Yeah, I don't think that was what he was asking, though. I mean, you can go to the subjects here and then to the uh, interaction and say allow or block, but that doesn't force them to do it. That just says you're allowed to or you're not allowed to. As a note, attrition now ticks on the month tick, and there's a 50% chance it ticks if your ship moves between sea zones while out of supply. Percent is modified by naval maneuver. Okay, that I did not know. Because I knew it was on the uh, the end of month tick. I didn't realize that there was also a chance when they move between zones. That's interesting. So yeah, moving long distances with ships is now a lot more dangerous. Especially if you're not in supply. And that is massively reduced with one of these technologies. Uh, which basically reduces naval attrition. But I don't remember at what level you get that. Reduced naval attrition, level 22. So at Diplo Tech, level 22, you'll take a massively reduced amount of attrition while sailing. Can attrition recover in your own port? Yes. So it will reset. So if we're out at sea um, for a while, you will notice... In fact, I'll show you. We'll, we'll go out to the Antilles and I'll show you from there. Uh, we've had a good harvest. I definitely want that put in the treasury so that I can pay off another loan. Two loans even. Excellent down to 15 and then the colonial nation did we get any better ones where is El Dorado it is down in Argentina actually no this is Brazil you know you know what I'm just gonna call this El Dorado because that is gonna be in the uh, Castellan Brazil it's it's in that node I don't know why it's called... Oh, there we go. You've got the right name. Oh, now you do as well. 
Oh, I see when we zoom out it says Castellan Brazil, but the actual colony name is Eldorado. So once this stuff gets a bit more connected up, it'll be fine. Uh, that's a good question. Where's the capital? Because I feel like it should be Rio Grande. It is. So the super, super wealthy 19 development, which in the new world is unheard of, um, province, which unfortunately is marshland. So it does have the 25% higher dev cost. But that's also offset by the fact it's El Dorado. It is not, however, a center of trade, which is unfortunate. And you can't see what area these provinces are in either. Ah, yes you can. So no. Rio de la Plata is not in the same area, so there's no centers of trade here. Okay. Right, let's go and talk about attrition. So we're going to sail out to the Antilles current. Which will arrive at just too late. Okay, nope, we can still explain it. So once you have your ship interface open here, you can see attrition right there. And if you hover over the attrition, it will tell you exactly why you're taking the attrition you are. So you take one base attrition, just if you're out of supply just normally. And then you also take an additional five if you're out at sea. However, if we stay here for some time, that goes up. Time at sea, that is going to keep on going up and up and up and up. And that's the exponential increase. So now every month we're taking 8% attrition just for sitting here in the Antilles. So this should go down to 86% next month. There it is, 86. And now because we've been at sea for longer, that's another 2% from time at sea. It's now 10%. So this will go down to 76. And then as soon as these have uh, hit zero, that fleet will sink. However, if we return to supply range, then attrition is completely fixed. They are now back in supply and you don't actually need to dock up. That I hadn't realized. You just need to be back in supply reach and everyone's happy. Then when you dock up, they'll actually start repairing. Unless you're maritime, in which case they'll dock as long as you're on a coastal. Which is basically anything that's not open sea. And we'll stick you in Havana for now. Although, actually, we do need to go and pick up our troops from Rio Grande do Sul. Oh, wow. El Dorado immediately putting down two new settlers. Impressive. And actually, that's a good point. I do want to be investing money in you. Because I want you to get big and powerful. So we are going to economy. Oh, because we have a massive debt, we can't give you subsidies. Does that mean my other ones have cancelled? No, Hispaniola is still getting the three ducats a month. Okay, good. 